Hi guys, uh, I bought this uh, little function generator kit from uh, eBay. Um, it uses the XR function generator chip and it seems to be pretty decent. Um, you can see in the background a video of me actually building the project and uh, it took about 25 minutes all in. Um, the case bolts are too short as supplied so it doesn't quite work properly. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to uh, stop talking now and uh, take you over to the actual testing and the operation. See you later. Okay, so that's the lowest setting with the highest frequency is 17 Hz. So I would expect that low and low would give me an overlap. And it says it's 7.2 hertz. <clears throat> so high and high is now giving me 217. So low and low is giving me 147. So it looks, see that's crazy. Okay, so that's 147 to 338. I can't understand why they're saying one is fine and one is coarse. They're both sort of getting in each other's way, which is quite ridiculous. Anyway, <clears throat> so low on the third setting is 147. To 4K. The next one starts at 2.8K. It goes up to 85k. Right, let's just see if we can set 20 kilohertz just as an example. So we'll just use a course, we'll just get to 21 point and let's fine tune it. So that's 20 kilohertz and 10 hertz. So it's drifting in that sort of area. And peak to peak. Still flat topping just under 4 volts. So I think I'll reliably say we're going to get a 3 volt peak to peak. Anyway, back to what we were doing. <coughs> so this setting is getting 2.8k. to 84k the next one's giving 57k to 1.3 meg our uh, amplitude has dropped off a bit and we can only crank a maximum we're stopping out at about 2 volts peak to peak there <coughs> So the voltage, let's just work out where it starts dropping off. <coughs> so we're getting a downward curve. So you can definitely see it. <coughs> Seems to be about there. It takes a nose dive down and uh, output. So that's three hundred and forty-two hertz. Seems to be the point where our kilohertz. So three hundred and fifty k. From there it, it does a nosedive. Let's just blindly do that again. I'm not watching the frequency, I'm just watching the, the drop off about there. 
Yeah, so about 350k. Yeah, I'm going to stay with that sort of number. So, <clears throat> okay. So, using these pots directly, we can um, get a variety of outputs um, from very, very slow frequency. Um, Notice the uh, sine wave isn't very sine wavy at that very low frequency. See, that's weird. Ah, right, okay, it's fine. It's because I, try, I was trying to generate too much power, and you see when it tries to generate too much. So if I take my output down to... Yeah. So we're still stuck at 4 volts peak to peak, so I'm just going to set it to 2 volts and just be done with it. This 2 volts seems to be consistent. And um, it seems to work fine. So there's um, just under 2 volts peak to peak. And the lowest frequency I can get is 570 millihertz. And it goes up. Seems to do pretty well. So let's um, let's just uh, put this into triangle mode. So triangle doesn't work very well at very low frequencies, clearly. Either that, or we're having. Uh, Yeah, we're having definite issues at very low frequencies on triangle. It really doesn't want to work. Right, the output signal is much, much stronger on triangle. And it's triangular-ish. You can see the charge discharge on the, the capacitor there. In fact, it's very obvious how uh, the charge discharge is working there. So the frequency is down about the same. So that's what, 17 and a half hertz there. Let's just go up to a high setting. That's 84 kilohertz. Down to 2 kilohertz. Looks like we're able to generate three and a half, four volts again. So, okay. And we'll just uh, change this over into the square output and see what the square output looks like. That's the square. As they call it, square anyway. We'll just increase the frequency. Yeah, so it becomes it becomes square. OK, 
Okay, we'll call it 100 hertz or something, it becomes properly square. And it still seems quite square. We're starting to get some leading edge there, but not too bad. And that's now running at 84 kilohertz. really struggles to remain square beyond, I don't know, I'd say it's losing any resemblance of squareness above 300 kilohertz. That's when we get to 500, we've got such a long leading edge. We get to We're getting very sort of shark finned. We're getting no flat top at all when we're closing in on one meg. But you know what? That's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad at all. So I think for general day to day use. We'll probably be leaving it on the third setting, which is 149 hertz, up to 4 kilohertz. Yeah. Seems to work quite nicely. Although auto didn't seem to work on it there, did it? Mm, worked a second time. Okay. So we're going from 2.89 kilohertz square. to 2.89 sign. Notice the huge difference in the signal level and the inability to actually get to that point. So, <clears throat> a final check here. Um, we'll put everything into AC coupled and we'll center the position. And we seem to have lost the signal for some reason. Come on, just auto that, can't be bothered searching for it. No, it's still there. Okay, so... So AC coupled, center it up. Okay, so that's interesting. So there is a large DC offset, so... Uh, let's just put it back on... DC. And we're getting a 5 volt DC component here. 4.92 volt DC component. Obviously there's a little bit of modulation on that, but you know, not not uh, anything hugely to worry about. But yeah, so there's a 5 volt DC offset on the sine wave output. That'll do. I think I've thoroughly tested this to the level that I really need to. Um, Seems to work quite well. Hopefully this gives you an idea as to whether or not this is uh, something you might want to buy. But considering it was only like £6 or something, um, I can't f uh, fault it at all. Um, I didn't build the case because the short screws that are supplied are too short. And um, I couldn't see any way to actually make those uh, do anything useful. I uh, might uh, reinvestigate that again, but uh, to me it looks like the screws supplied are just not right. Anyway, further work required. 
thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, it's been a very long one, but uh, thanks for coming along. And uh, please remember to subscribe and make any comments you wish. See you later. Bye-bye.